Hello everybody, it's Crystal Laura, and this is our review of the jewel model of the Huawei watch. This is a Huawei watch, and yeah, this is the same watch we reviewed months back, but Huawei has just recently released two new designs for it. What I have here is a jewel rose gold stainless steel Huawei watch. And if you look closely, you can see that the watch is encrusted with 68 1.5mm Swarovski zirconia stones. The other model is also a stainless steel rose gold watch, but instead of these stones, you just have the steel case with a knurled pattern top ring. And of course, anybody can wear these new watches and they'll look fantastic, but Huawei definitely had women in mind when designing these, especially with the thinner 18mm leather straps versus the 21mm ones on their previous designs. But that being said, these new designs bring larger dimensions when it comes to the watch itself. We have a 44mm diameter over the other model's 42mm diameter. There's also a boost in thickness, jumping from 11.3mm to 12.45mm. But these larger dimensions actually help this elegant design, adding more space for a larger number of stones. Like all Huawei watches, you have a beautiful unboxing experience. Huawei really treats their watches like real jewelry instead of a cool gadget, as they should because after all these are accessories that we wear and become part of how we look. The box springs open and greets you with the watch sitting within the soft fuzzy velvet interior and the words timeless design smart within are also printed at the top. Pulling up on these little gold handles gives you access to some paperwork with the charging dock and cable underneath. The first thing you'll notice when pulling out the watch itself is just like the previous designs, we have a round display as opposed to a square one. It's the direction lots of smartwatches are going now, and even though that makes viewing some content a little harder to see, it's by far the best looking design in my opinion. The crown is positioned for easy access around the 2 o'clock position, and although it can rotate, it only functions when you press down on it to turn the display on or off, or long press taking you to settings. The jewel version of the watch usually comes with a blue Italian leather strap, while the elegant version comes with the white one. However, on the model I'm using, we were given the white leather strap with a snakeskin pattern, which I love. And like I said before, the band is smaller than the other models at 18mm, putting a bigger emphasis on the watch itself, and it makes it very comfortable on my wrist. But the big eye catcher here is the jewels that surround the top ring. There are 68 1.5mm Swarovski zirconia stones that make this one of the most flashy and luxurious looking watches on the market right now. They sparkle no matter what lighting condition you're in and will definitely cause some people to turn their heads. This ring around the frames is pretty high up as it borders the screen, making the display appear sunken in, which might look a little strange to some. It also makes it a tad bit more difficult to pull in menus with your finger. We thought the Huawei watch was a very stylish and flashy watch to begin with, but the extra flair you get with the crystals, it takes it to a whole new level and it emphasizes our original concerns with the watch, which is it can be hard to match with certain outfits and occasions, like when you're going to the gym or something, it may seem a little out of place in those situations. But that being said, I love the design and I think the jewel version of the rose gold Huawei watch is the most luxurious smartwatch on the market. Apart from the design, we're looking at the exact same spec sheet as the Huawei watch released a few months ago. You have a Snapdragon 400 with 512 megabytes of RAM. And for a watch, that's really all you're going to need. The watch is very snappy with smooth animations, and that's all you can really ask for. A standout feature for the Huawei watch is this AMOLED display. There's no better use for an AMOLED display than using it for a watch. The majority of your day, the watch will be in ambient mode, displaying a black background with the white outline of your watch face. This not only looks gorgeous with the blacks being true black, but it preserves a lot of battery as probably only 10% of the pixels are actually lighting up underneath. The Huawei watch is running on Android Wear of course, which is a fantastic operating system for a smartwatch. What's great is that no matter what type of Android watch you're wearing, the software is mostly identical. You can select your watch face, customize them, or even download new ones from Google Play. And when new notifications arrive on your phone, they'll also be pushed to your watch where you can look at them at a glance swipe them away, or swipe to the left to interact with them. There's a pull down menu for certain settings, and swiping to the left while on the clock brings up apps, contacts, and Google Now. It's very simple, and it's a great way to know 100% of the time what's going on in your pocket. But our biggest gripe with the watch is its absence of an ambient light sensor. 
Users will have to micromanage their watch's brightness, setting it to either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 because there's no auto mode on the watch, which can make it blinding bright when in low light areas. Huawei says that their watch lasts you a day and a half to two full days of life with its 300 mAh battery, but it's closer to a day and a half for us, which still means you'll be charging the watch every night. But once again, that's all you can really ask for at the moment. Included in the box is a magnetic charging platform for easy charging, and although it's magnetic, you still have to make sure the watch's charging connectors actually line up correctly and snap into place. It's very easy for the watch to not properly align to this connector, leaving you with a dead watch to start your day. Also, unlike some watches like the Moto 360, you don't have a night clock displaying as you charge, which is a little unfortunate. Still though, between the beautiful AMOLED display and the elegant crystals that surround it, this watch is in a class of its own. It's the most luxurious looking smartwatch on the market. It's very flashy, which will chase some users away, but for us women out there, we finally have a smartwatch that was designed with us in mind. Sure, these Swarovski Zirconia stones make this watch pretty pricey at $599, but that makes sense. If you want something a little less showy, you can go with the new elegant model without the crystals that's $100 cheaper. Even if I'm losing a few features with the Huawei watch, the new designs make it totally worth it. And that is it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And also in the comments below, let me know what you guys think of this new design of the Huawei watch. Make sure you head on over to androidauthority.com for the full in-depth review. And as always, subscribe and stay subscribed because we are your source for all things Android.